Hey guys, welcome back to Zimei Crafts. You might notice we're in a bit of a different setting today. That's because I have a very special but very large custom to share with you from MTT Diamond Paintings. So I'm going to do this sort of in the wrong order. We're going to have a look at the canvas first. So you can see the entire canvas in all its glory. And then we'll get into the finer details. Once you have your postal tube open, this is what you get. You've got your canvas and all your goodies wrapped up inside. Something important I need to add before we get into the good stuff. I do have permission from this local South African artist to turn this stunning painting into a diamond painting. Um, I reached out to local artist John Murray and also if she would be willing to sell me a digital file of one of her paintings that I have been in love with forever. She agreed and this is the end result. And a special shout out to Manette. Thank you for <laughs> making this possible. I absolutely adore John's art. It is whimsical and magical and just beautiful. She captures something that just speaks to me. And there she is, guys. I don't I don't even have words like this is beautiful. This wow. <laughs> I knew it was going to be pretty, but this just exceeds every single expectation I had. It's just wow. Uh, this painting is called Beautiful Island. I don't know if I mentioned that. By John Marie. It is a 60 by 90. And it has 59 colors. Two of which are ABs. And it's a squared rule, of course. I know, I'm very boring like that. So problem number two for today. <laughs> this is also a bit big for our dining room table. <laughs> this is really going to be one really, really, really big canvas. Now, first of all, I'd like to point out, can we just appreciate this is basically lying completely flat. I'm just going to... Pan it like this, then you can see. I have not rolled this canvas back at all. Took it out of the tube, put it down on the floor for like five seconds to show you guys, and it's flat, like flat, flat. So I'm really a very big fan of these satin canvases. It's very similar to Diamond Art Club, which. <laughs> is a tender topic in South Africa so I won't go in on that okay so a quick tour of the canvas up in the left hand corner you have a thumbnail of the original image then we have a legend here on the left another thumbnail on the right as well as another legend and then if I can just quickly pan you down here, this is the canvas size and my next contact details. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in for a closer look at the symbols, which you can see are very clear as always. We've got a nice little grid line, which I think is important because I would be in so much trouble <laughs> if there wasn't a grid to follow. So next let's have a look at our plastic, it is a sort of medium thickness plastic which I like, the really thick one usually gives me endless amounts of trouble, this one is workable, it's going to be easy to cut through it, and our sticky taste, really nice and sticky so you know your drawers are going to stick. Now let's have a look at the goodies that came with our kit. Now something I noticed immediately was that our toolkit has definitely been upgraded since my last custom order. Quite excited to see what's going on there. 
And then I know from speaking to Minette that we've also got a little surprise on our sticker sheet. So let's have a look at that. First of all, here is our little inventory sheet. Lovely thumbnail of the original image. Here we can check that we have all our little baggies. Then we have our sticker sheet. So, if you've recently got a custom from Minette, you would have noticed that her sticker sheet is now individually cut and very closely resembles the Diamond Art Club style. So you've got this big sticker on your left hand side that you can use for your logbook and then these guys just pop off like that and they are going to fit perfectly on my Elizabeth Ward storage. And finally we have our toolkit. Still comes in this white bag. We have our willow pen. I love the glitter inside. It's got a little cap that you take off. Press that into your wax. Then we have our purple tweezers. These are the pointy ended ones, not the round tips, so be careful not to stab yourself. Then we have our pot of wax, and it comes with three pieces of wax, a bag of baggies, and then we get to the new items. So I don't know if you remember my previous custom, I had that double-ended drill tray. These are the new ones. I love these trays, they work really well. And then you get a random washi tape. So we have a nice glittery one. Let me just open it, then you can see the pattern. There we go. It's so sparkly. <laughs> yeah, so new trays, new washi tape edition, and a new sticker sheet. And lastly, we have a massive bag of drills. Now it comes with a sticker that correlates to this number over here. So if for some reason you don't store them together, you will be able to find out which drills goes with which canvas. Now, <laughs> instead of taking them all out individually and showing you each one of them, I'm going to pack them out and do a sort of time lapse. And then you can just see the whole color spread. <laughs> It's a very neutral palette, but that's quite obvious from the original picture. The color that I have the most of is actually number 43, which is DMC number 3756. There we go. This, I assume, is the background color. Then we have two ABs which is number 5079. This is 907AB and number 58, which is 701AB. It's actually kind of funny because that was the same AB that I had in my previous custom. The bags are all these resealable baggies. They have the drill number on, but not the DMC code. So if you want to keep up out of their baggies, I suggest using the labels that come with the picture. So something I might not have mentioned, part of the upgrades is Minette Squares are now resin drills. Now, some people say you can't tell the difference, other people are diehards resin fans. Honestly, I've had good experiences and bad experiences with both, but in general I prefer working with resin drills. 
So I'm just going to pick a random dark color here so we can have a closer look. This one seems like an empty, so we can have a closer look. These don't have a lot of little edges. I don't see dimples. So I'm quite excited to try this because a lot of the local South African companies use acrylic drills. I think mostly because it's easier to find and obviously cheaper, but if I can find amazing resin drills locally, it's going to make my life so much easier. Because as you know, getting anything here from overseas is a nightmare. I'm actually in the process of bringing in a parcel from America. But that's a story for another day. And lastly, I'm going to show you where the ABs go. So I think the bright green one is quite obvious. It is over here in this area. And then we also have it up here. Oh, sorry guys. You can see this little symbol here. The bright green one. Then our dark green ones are over here but I have some plans so this little hummingbird I think I will be either entirely switching out the trolls or ABs or crystals we'll see but I'm quite excited to see how that turns out so I guess all that leaves for me to do is to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one.